So here I am in Cakewalk, I'm selecting this female vocal and I want a sudden volume change in this vocal just for these three phrases here. Now like me, you probably already know that you can go down to the channel in the console view, click on the W button to right enable this for automation. Then you could play the track, adjust the fader and it will record those moves. Let's do that now. And you can see that it's recorded the change here and if we played it back it would follow those changes but it's gradual it's not sudden like i wanted it to be so let's undo all of that turn off the right enabling and look at another method you that you probably already know about let's go up to the track up here go to this drop down menu here select automation go over to volume there yeah, and then we can see this line has appeared and when we hover over it this pencil appears and we can start to draw in nodes for automation okay so we could draw in something like this do a sudden change yeah we'll do it at the end here we've got our sudden change like so now you may have already known about that one but what about this third method that i'm going to tell you let's undo all of that again yeah change this back to its regular clips value here this time i'm going to set my playhead to some point just before the change here yeah and i'm going to go down to the fader i'm going to right click and then i'm going to go down to automation snapshot you can see that it's added in a node for automation here let's now move the playhead to the point where we want it to suddenly change yeah we'll adjust the fader now we'll just push it up like so we'll right click on it and then we'll click on automation snapshot again and you can see that there's been a sudden change of volume here okay it's not gradual anymore we could repeat that process for the end of those three phrases there let me know in the comments down below if you knew already about automation snapshot or if it's something which is completely new to you it's not one of the main secrets that i'm going to tell you about in today's video so think of it just as a bonus secret hi folks i'm mike and i hope you're well automation is absolutely essential for a great mix if you don't know anything about it at all then i recommend you follow my guide just up here but if you've already been using automation in cakewalk i bet there's a few secrets that you don't know about starting off with this one here i'm working on my female vocals again but this time i want to start off by automating some muting i actually just want to mute out this phrase here so what i'm going to do is go down to the channel in the console for the female vocals and i'm going to right click on the mute button here then go down to the bottom and click on this switch to automated mute so i click on that now the mute is sort of ready to be automated so i'm going to do some automation while playing so i'm going to click on the w button to right enable automation for this track then i'm going to play it and adjust my muting let's do that now we are through And you can see it's muted out that phrase there and you can see it's written the automation there okay that's fine let's just turn that off i want to do some other automation on the volume and the panning but this time i just want to draw it in rather than record my movements so what i'm going to do is go to the track up here like we did before click on this drop down i'm going to go down to automation and go down to volume okay and i'm just going to draw in some automation of uh, for my volume here just on the vocals just here okay we don't need to listen to it you can see what's happening there with the change of automation now i want to adjust the panning so i'm going to go up to this drop down menu again or over to this drop down menu click on it go to automation then go down to pan and i'll draw in some panning automation okay so i've got lots of automation happening on this track now what if i want to go back and adjust the volume automation again i'll just go back up to the drop down go to automation click on volume make my adjustments because i want it to go down this time instead of going up fine i've made my adjustments now i want to go back to do the panning same again you can see the problem here it gets a little bit cumbersome to be flicking between these different types of automation by using this drop down menu and if that's what you've been doing up until now that means you've probably missed 
one little button here on the track and it's this one this one which is going to reveal the automation lanes let's just do click on that now to reveal automation lanes now there's only one lane there at the moment and that's for the mute that we did originally we can see that just over here let's just add some more so that we can see our other automation i want you to go to that mute automation lane just click on that plus button there yeah and that then automatically has revealed the panning automation we can see it there and we can see that pan is selected there what about the volume let's click on the plus in the panning automation lane this time just click on it now and it's revealed an automation lane but not the volume one that i was wanting but that's easily remedied i can go to the drop down for this automation lane just click on that and select a volume now i have all of the automation that i'm working on for this track available in one place without having to flick between menus i can get rid of this just by clicking on this icon again where i'm not using it then when i quickly want to do some automation just click on that and i can easily access all of the automation lanes that i've been working on oh by the way you can download the project which i'm using in today's video for free by following the link in the description down below i actually produced it during the course of making my course the absolute beginner's guide to cakewalk and if you haven't recorded your first song in cakewalk yet this is an invaluable guide for you to achieve that goal i get straight to the point and teach you just what you need to know to record your first piece of of music to find out more about that go to www.cakewalk101.com or follow the link in the description down below you probably noticed earlier that when i created my volume automation i created a few nodes and then i just dragged them around to make a kind of a natural looking curve but if you want a really free flowing automation what you can do is hold down the alt key on the keyboard and then simply draw in your automation changes with your mouse like so for a really free flowing kind of natural curve there that's a really quick secret to tell you about let me know in the comments down below if you didn't know about that sometimes we want to move our nodes with some accuracy for example i'm going to move this node here but before i do i'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then when i start dragging it i'm either going to go up or down once i do that it's locked so it can only be moved in an upward or a downward direction okay likewise when i select it if i hold shift and start off by moving it in either direction to the side it will be locked to a left or right movement we can't now move it up and down okay so that's a nice way of maintaining some accuracy another thing we can do is turn on snap if we turn on snap then it will obey our snap rules as they're set at the moment so if i move this around it's snapping as you can see to different positions in time if i hold down control key and then move it up or down it'll actually snap to the previous node there so that's really handy if you want to match the value of the previous node we can actually move all of these nodes uh, for this clip in unison by moving up to the top of the automation area here until our cursor changes to this horizontal eye beam then when i start to drag it selects all of the nodes and i can move them up or down in unison like so another way that we can actually change the value of multiple nodes at once is by moving off to the side here until we get this this vertical eye beam then i'm just going to drag out this gray box here until i've got a few of these nodes selected and then i can move them around like i normally would and just as before if i hold down the shift key move them up and down they'll only move in that direction and if i hold down the shift key move them left or right then they'll only move in that direction sometimes we want to copy automation from one place in our track to another or indeed we may want to copy it to other tracks or to different parameters let's do all of that now i'm going to start off by going off to the right hand side of my nodes here until i see that vertical eye beam then i'm just going to drag out this gray box to make my selection i'm going to press Control c on my keyboard to copy that and then i'm going to move to a different position in my track and i'm going to make sure i move my playhead to where i want that automation to be and then click Control v on my keyboard and you can see that that has been 
pasted in there at a different position. Let's undo that, and this time we're going to paste it to a different track. I'm going to make that selection again, like so, yeah? And I'm just going to take note of where that selection starts, okay? And I'm going to move my Play Now position by clicking up here to the beginning of that selection. It's handy if you have Snap-on for this, okay? Again, I'm going to press Control c to copy that automation data. Now I'm going to go down to this other female vocal track, which I've got here, and I'm just going to open up that aut the automation lanes there, yeah, by clicking on that icon. I've done that, and I'm also going to make sure that I've got that track selected by clicking on its number like so. Again, I'm making sure that that playhead is at the beginning of that selection, and then I'm going to press Control v and you can see that it's now pasted that volume automation into the other track. Now, of course, the automation values before and after that happened were different on this track, okay? So you may need to do some adjustments to make it blend in, okay? But that's the essence of how you do it. Okay, so that's automatically copied the volume across. But what if I want this to be applied to a different parameter, okay? Let's right click on this automation here, and I'm gonna go down to assign envelope, and let's assign this to, let's say, um, this compressor, which I've got on the track here. I'm gonna assign it to the output volume of that compressor. Click on there. Now, you don't see any much of a change visually here. You can see the same automation, but if we look over on the left-hand side and we look at what's being automated here, we can see it's now the compressor's output which has been automated but what if i wanted to retain it on the volume because if i go up to the volume if i change this to the volume here and take a look at it we can see that it actually moved it from the volume to the compressor let's undo what we did with the compressor there okay um, i'm going to go in open up automation here you can see it's applied to the volume here but this time when i right click i'm going to go down to copy and assign envelope okay I'm going to go across again to the compressor and go to its output. And we can see here that it's here on the volume. We can see volume is selected here. But now if we go and we select the compressor and its output, we can see that same automation is applied to that as well. This time I'm going to be working with an electric guitar, which is in my project. And I specifically want to hand draw in some automation for some values in a plugin which is applied to it. So it has this TH3 plugin applied, which is the free amp sim which comes with Cakewalk. So I'll just click on that. You can see it's a fairly simple setup in here. I have this amp in there. I have a cabinet with a microphone applied. And I also have this spring reverb. And this is where I want to change some parameters, as I say, by hand. So I've got this mix control here, and that's what I want to change. So I'll close the plugin and I'll start the process of adjusting this by drawing in some values. So I'll go up to the drop down menu here, I'll go to automation, and I'll go down to TH3, which is the plugin. And you can see I've got this choose parameter selection here. I'll click on that and it opens up this selection here. You can see there's already loads of parameters for me to change with this plugin. And I don't know which one to choose. So I'll cancel that and I'll show you how I can quickly find out which parameter it is. So again, I'll open up the plugin here. I've already, I'm already in the section I want and it's this mix control that I want to find out about. So I'm just going to right enable this for automation. Click on the W up there and I'll just play the track momentarily and just do a small adjustment to this control. And I'll stop that there, turn off the right automation and close the plugin. And you can actually see there already that this automation has been added. So now if I go to open up my automation lanes, there is an automation lane for this already. I'll just expand it and I can now go ahead and adjust that by hand as I wish without having to figure out which of the many parameters available is the one I should choose from this drop down menu. So I've got a guitar clip here with some volume automation applied. Let's just open up its automation lanes here and we can see that envelope there for that automation. Now, as it turns out, I actually want to move this clip to a slightly different position. So I'm just going to grab it here and drag the clip over to the side. 
But as you can see there, the automation moved with it. And that's because they're sort of connected. They're associated with each other. Now, that may be fine, but also may be something that you don't want. So let's just press Control Z to undo that. Now, in order to separate these two from each other, you need a specific module showing in Cakewalk. So I'm going to go up to my top bar here. And I'm going to right click, go to modules. I'm just going to make sure that the select module is showing. So we'll click on that. And now we can see the select module here. Now there's four icons. They're all switched on here. And I'm interested in the first one. Let's switch that off. Now, when I actually move my clip from side to side, the automation for that track stays in the same position. Another time when automation becomes really useful is during the mastering process. I've already made a video about how to master in Cakewalk by BandLab. It's on the other side of this logo, and I highly recommend you go ahead and watch that right now. Thank you.